What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here. I'm sure in a lot of my recent videos you've seen I've been using the Summoner Scrolls Mod Loader. So what that does is you have a, you can add various mods to scrolls, which just I think make the game experience a bit better. Uh, it does not affect the gameplay, so you're not really getting any unfair advantages. But I suggest you all try it out because I think you'll like it, and it's relatively risk-free. Um, you can easily switch between the modded version of scrolls and the regular version of scrolls. So first let me just show you guys, I do have uh, the regular version of scrolls installed right now. I went ahead and cleared Summoner off of my system um, and downloading it from scratch. And one thing of note, uh, the first time I downloaded and installed Summoner it wouldn't work. Um, and what made it work was that it not, doesn't have Summoner installed because there's no mods tab right here. Uh, the first time I tried getting Summoner uh, I was having trouble um, running it. Uh, what helped was I just reinstalled the normal scrolls game. Uh, but don't do that unless you have trouble by following exactly what I do. But if you're still having trouble after um, you follow exactly what I'm doing here, uh, go ahead and just reinstall, a first install of scrolls, and then do all this, and it should work for you. So first, click on the link below to go to this download page. Uh, yeah, no hero is the guy behind the resurgence of Summoner. Uh, Summoner is a pretty old mod loader for scrolls but no hero really revived it and he uh made most of the current mods or scrolls that work uh, so thanks to him uh we get to use this and yeah you can visit here for no hero's guide to install and information about his mods and all that stuff and you can ask some questions there so we're on windows so we're just going to download the windows one you can get this from mac as well and that was a quick download uh, just drag that to wherever you want, and it's a zip file, so go ahead and just extract wherever you'd like. And here we have the scrollsmodloader.exe, so we can go ahead and get rid of this. And now you're going to go into your file explorer, and here's where it's a bit different for Mac and PC. Uh, for PC, you're just going to go into your C drive, and then either program files or program files x86. x86 for me because I'm on a 64-bit computer, and scrolls, I believe, is 64-bit. And then there's going to be a scrolls folder over here. On Mac, you're going to have to go to, I think, a library, obviously Finder, Library, Users, Application Support, Scrolls, I think it's something like that. I haven't used a Mac in a long time. But it's, it's just like how you go to your the Minecraft folder to like change your Minecraft worlds and all that stuff. So you're going to open up the Scrolls folder and then just go ahead and drag the Scrolls mod loader right in there. Uh, so it's right next to the Scrolls launcher.exe. And once you have that, go ahead and just run it, double click it, and then hopefully this works for you. You want to see this message, Summoner successfully passed your scrolls installation, and that basically means it worked. So you can go ahead and launch it, and we can find out. Whoops, I wasn't supposed to get out of that. Forgot uh, here. So basically, launching scrolls from here or wherever you used to launch scrolls is just going to be the unmodded version. To launch the modded version of scrolls, you're going to have to launch it through. Uh, this summoner.bat file. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a shortcut and just drag it onto our desktop uh, right here. So you just can. This is basically your new scrolls application. You could change it. You can change the icon and rename it whatever you want to do. But uh, yeah. So let's just see it work. Double click on that. Here we go. So it looks like it's working, and we should have the mods tab right here, which we do. So let's just, so Summoner is installed, now I'm just going to show you guys, you can easily go back and forth, so I was just logged into uh, NRP123 with the mods installed, and now I just clicked on uh, the scrolls launcher down here, and I'm going to log in with NRP123, and no mod tab, I don't know why, yeah, there, there it goes, yep, no mod tab, and then I can just X that out, and it still works here. So if for some reason Summoner ever just stops working for you, uh, all you have to do to reinstall is just uh, be here and just delete all just these just all the files besides this, 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 and this. Like any all the new things that Scrolls Mob Loader created, you could just delete those, put them in your recycle bin or trash can or whatever, and rerun Scrolls Mob Loader, and you should still have all the mods you installed and um, everything should be working just fine again if you ever encounter any problems because the mods are actually uh, saved here and you see I have five mods installed so now that I show you how to install everything I have a shortcut on my desktop um, I'm just going to show you a bit about the mods I use in Summoner right now 
so I can get rid of that zip file. So uh, yeah, let's switch to um, a better view here. And so this is what you'll see, the mods tab when you have Summoner installed. Uh, it kind of sticks out above the rest of the tabs for some reason. So you can go ahead and click that and you go to the mods, pa the mods page. Uh, it's kind of weird, you can't really read everything too well. Uh, maybe your resolution will be different. But this, remember, Summoner is a fan-made um, mod thing, not made by Mojang. Which you might get like random like whispers from, from Summoner just telling you how to use some of the mods. So these are the five mods I have installed. Uh, they're already installed for me because, like I showed, in that mods folder, uh, because in my mods folder, they were already there. But I'll go ahead and uninstall them for you guys. So just, here are the repositories. These are just like groups of mods. Um, these are just the mods in that repository. These are like the two folders and these are mods in that. And these are the mods I actually have installed right now. If it's checked, it means um, you have it running right now. And if it's unchecked, it's just not running right now. So what I'm gonna do is just uninstall all of these. Because I'm just going to show you how to do this. So you guys uninstall, you just click the X and um, just do all that. And to get things to update, you just have to click apply and it's going to restart scrolls. Okay. So now if we go to mods, you'll see nothing. So this is what you're going to see. Um, well, actually, not quite what you're going to see. No Heroes repository is uh, included with Summoner automatically because No Hero put it there. No Hero is basically the guy behind Summoner right now. Um, this is the Scrolls Guide repository. Uh, the, you don't need to get this. I don't use any of the mods from the Scrolls Guide repos repository right now because they don't really work. They're outdated. Maybe one or two of them works. I don't know. I haven't tried them. You can test those out yourself, but you should have um, more fun with No Heroes repository right now because they're, most of them are updated and they work wonders. So we're just going to download some simple ones. Uh, I want better chat. Uh, have, you, have you ever wanted to... Uh, click on links in chat and you hate typing them out in your U in your uh, web browser when you just have a long URL then you're gonna want to download this you can open links um, enchantment mouse over just makes enchantments easier to see in the field uh, because in vanilla scrolls it's just sometimes you can easily glance over enchanted creatures and enchant mouse over you just mouse over the thing it shows what enchantments it has that's a nice better enchantments mod game replay is a really popular one you can save replays but I don't really need that considering I'm almost always recording my screen anyways. Um, Ultimate Deck Comporter, some people use. Uh, I like Battle Paint. Um, basically, that, will, will, that lets you draw on the screen and basically make football plays in scrolls matches. It's cool for spectators, uh, and if I'm like streaming, I want to show you guys something on the field. I haven't really used it much yet. Battle Log, which is alpha, but what it does, it's really helpful. It has a tab on the side screen you can open and close which is a log of everything that happens in the match. So ever had to go to the bathroom and then come back, you don't know what your opponent did in your, his turn? Well, you'll have it right there. It's just a log of everything that happened in the match. You'll see what uh, I'm talking about. And it's also good for if you're like streaming and your viewers will always know what happened if they miss something. And then I'll get spectating time. Um, just a little thing that shows you when spectating matches will start. Because you know how spectate matches uh, stay there for like a couple of minutes before they actually start because of the spectate delay. This will give you a countdown when it's actually starting. Good, useful for streamers, like knowing when to join the game and stuff like that. Um, this was actually part of Vanilla Scrolls, but then for some reason they took away the spectating time. So no hero added it back in this mod. Scrolls Live is another mod a lot of people use. Um, lets you use spectate games without the spectate delay if like both players uh, agree or something, but I haven't had much testing with that. So these are just five simple mods that I am very comfortable using. So I'll just go ahead and just download all those. And then we're just gonna check them all off because we want to activate them. Uh, so I will apply, which is going to restart scrolls. So let's go to our mods tab. And if we look, these are all checked off. So let's just quickly check off to see if all these are working. So first, spectating time is pretty easy to check. Uh, um, we're just going to go to the spectate lobby and yep, right down here it has a little timer. So this rank match between Holofoil and Tajik started uh, almost 900 seconds ago. Obviously it's more useful to know when things started when they didn't start yet. So for, for example, this match, uh, if you wanted to watch it, it's not going to start for another 160 seconds. Um, just kind of useful thing. I like to have it so I don't like sit there waiting for the match to start in the spectate lobby. 
Uh, next, what uh, we can quickly check out is the links. So let's just join room uh, court because I don't think I any business. They won't see our spam. Uh, so just like type out a URL, something like that. And now let's. Uh, now I'm going to click it and see, like it says, open link. This was not in scrolls, but in the vanilla version of scrolls. Um, you couldn't just click on, like, just like, you couldn't click on a message, click on a link, and then it would say open link. So I click open link, and if you don't believe me, then, uh, I don't know, but yeah, it opened, it opened my channel on my other monitor. So yeah, that works. It's a very useful thing. Uh, next, what other, there's three more mods, right, I want to show you. Um, I guess we can go into this rank actually the whole phone touch to look at what I'm talking about. Okay, so first of all, um, this is the this is the game log thing. See, it shows just everything that happened. Uh, the turns are a little screwed up. It's basically multiplied these turns almost by two because it's counting a turn for each side on the board. Uh, so you just have to figure out what's going on there. Things are highlighted. You can easily see what happened. It becomes just like a big window. You can scroll up and down, so you can see what you missed or stuff like and stuff like that. And there's some settings here you can change. Uh, so yeah, and you can minimize that if it's in your way, which it is kind of big. It almost obstructs the idle, so I sometimes minimize that. Usually, you only use it when I'm in the spectate game, or maybe I'm making a video and people want to see what happened. So there's that, and. Uh, here is uh see how this metal wonder is like has a red outline so what summoner that mod did was it makes the uh outline the enchantment outlines much thicker and in red so they're easier to spot out so you won't forget what is enchanted this metal wonder is enchanted with potion of resistance so we see this little potion of resistance icon is underneath so i could quickly mouse over and know what it is without having to without having to click on it and read it it's just a useful thing right there and then finally uh we have the uh battle paint mod um, so we just click this and now it's on and we just choose a color let's choose blue and we can paint plays on the field show our spectators yep we're gonna move there and then we're going to kill this curse monger and then we're going to blow up this idol with a loyal darkling uh, yeah you could just doodle on your opponent's faces uh, when you're streaming you basically just go anywhere in this right click and everything erases um, so just a fun little thing and I guess that'll be it so did I go through all the mods and did I basically show how Summoner works? I think so. New outro. Yes, uh, newest member of the Badger Guild, Bongo Smasher, was kind enough to create this awesome outro for me. So, please comment below, like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more content. Click on any of the links to go to other videos of mine, and keep on scrolling, scrollsers. I'll see you next time.